Let's find the elasticity of substitution for a general Cobb-Douglas expression. So A times L to the alpha K to the beta. Sigma is our elasticity of substitution, and it's the ratio of the percent change in the capital labor ratio to the percent change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. The percent change in anything is its change over its initial value times 100. So the percent change in the capital labor ratio is delta KL over K over L times 100. And the percent change in the marginal rate of technical substitution is delta MRTS over the initial MRTS times 100. We'll have my numerator and my denominator for sigma. So plugging those in to the sigma equation, the 100 is going to cancel out, so I've left it off. Now this is a big fraction over another big fraction. I'm going to reduce this, getting rid of one of the fractions. So I'm going to take that denominator fraction and flip it up, multiplying by the reciprocal, giving me delta KL over KL times MRTS over delta MRTS. I'm going to rearrange this so both of the delta terms are on the left and both of the non-delta terms are on the right. So let's find the MRTS because we know that's part of this equation. It's the ratio of the marginal product of labor to the marginal product of capital. Going back to my original production function, I can find the marginal product of labor. It'll be alpha times A times L to the alpha minus 1 times K to the beta. And the marginal product of capital will be beta times A times L to the alpha times K to the beta minus 1. Since this is a Cobb-Douglas, we know that the marginal rate of technical substitution is going to simplify nicely, and in this case it'll be alpha K over beta L. Alright, so here I've got my simplified equation for sigma on the left and my MRTS on the right. Well, notice I have this MRTS in the sigma equation, and now I know that the MRTS equals alpha K over beta L. So I'm going to plug in for that. So rewriting my expression for sigma, I've substituted in alpha k over beta l. Well now I've got this k over l in the numerator and k over l in the denominator. That's going to cross out. So sigma will be delta kl over delta mrts times alpha over beta. So I've simplified it quite a bit so far, but we can go further. So here I've got that simplified sigma and my marginal rate of technical substitution. Well, in the left-hand equation, it's really delta MRTS. Well, I can manipulate this equation on the right to be that same thing. If I want delta MRTS, it's going to be alpha over beta times delta K over L. Noticing now, this expression is looking a lot like this expression here, but not exactly. I can do some manipulation and I can find that delta K over L over delta MRTS is equal to beta over alpha. So now I can take that beta over alpha and plug it in for that expression. So sigma is now beta over alpha times alpha over beta, but those alphas are going to cancel, those betas are going to cancel, and I'm going to get sigma equals 1. A Cobb-Douglas production function always has an elasticity of substitution equal to 1.